Hey friends, it's Tiger Chainsaw, and I'm back for another episode of Retro Game Collecting. And as promised, my last episode I showcased what my wife got me for my finale gift for Christmas, which was the Nintendo 64 and the games that came with it. And in that episode, I let you guys know that I was going to do a follow-up episode of all the video game related items that I received for Christmas. So I have a ton of games to show off that was from my wife and immediate family. And then I also have some video game items that I'll show off. So let's get to it. Uh, I've worn these like six times already. <laughs> uh, they're very comfortable. My wife knows how much I love the uh, generation of Pokemon 1 and 2. And so she picked me up some uh, Pokemon, Pikachu specifically, Jamie pants. They're quite comfortable. And as we all know, Pokemon is a video game franchise first. She also got me a Nintendo Switch Pro controller. And this one's really cool. It is the uh, Pokemon uh, edition. So it's black on the front. And if you turn it around, it's yellow on the back. And it also has Pikachu at the top. I was needing a Nintendo Switch controller pretty badly because uh, there's a couple shooters on the Switch and it just doesn't feel right using the uh, the controls that the Switch comes with. So I got a Pro controller from my wife from that. Uh, this is really cool. I haven't seen this before. Um, when I have a big game room, uh, I know where I'm gonna stick this, but uh, she got me this really cool Pac-Man uh, Ghost. Let me see if I can do what it does. I don't know if you guys can really tell. It changes from like a blue ghost to a red ghost. Oh, there we go, like red, blue, red, blue. So that's kind of cool, I like this decoration. And I've already begun to use this because there's only one of them in the pack. Uh, she got me some, I've never seen this before either, some extension cords for my PS2 and my PS1. So what these are, uh, these are like five foot extension cords that you plug into your controller and then you can also plug this into the PS2 or the PS1 and that makes it so that the controller that you are using is essentially 12 feet long. Um, it, it's really great. It makes it so I don't have to like, you know, be right up front to the TV. I can kind of relax. I can sit on the couch now. I can sit really far back on the bed and just game out. So it's it's really nice that she got me that. I appreciate it. Um, she got me two video game books. I love reading. I think reading is really important to everyone. And I love reading history and I love reading about video games. Uh, so she got me A Geek in Japan, and this is, I've read probably 20% of it already. I love this book so much because uh, we were supposed to go to Japan two years ago, 2020, and uh, you know what stopped us because uh, that shut Japan down and that was really disappointing and so it got rescheduled in 2021 Japan is still closed and so it's been rescheduled again I don't know if we're ever gonna get to go to Japan I'm really bummed about it I really hope they open up their borders soon because there's so much stuff to do and that book really gets me excited speaking of Japan uh, she also got me the untold history of Japanese game developers so there's, this is volume one, but look how thick this book is. It's just filled with interviews uh, by Japanese developers and like what, it, what went into their games, what they were thinking at the time. Just some really fascinating stuff that uh, I'm really excited to geek out over. So she got me that. That was another video game related item that she got me. And I guess I'll show this off now. Uh, this is something my mom got me. Uh, she knew I wanted this, and uh, she got me, this is so cool, a guide to Japanese role-playing games. It's by Bitmap Books, 
It's incredible. Oh my gosh. If you guys love JRPGs, Roaming Dan, I told you I was gonna get this, buddy. I told you. And here it is. Um, it, it's just, I mean, it's phenomenal. You will not find a better book on JRPGs. I highly encourage you guys to check this out if you haven't already. And then the rest of the bitmap books. I have the Sega Master System one. It's incredible. Uh, so my mom got me this, along with some other stuff which I'll show off soon. Okay, so I think that is the end of the video game related items that I got. Let's actually get to the video games. So I know you guys are thinking, oh TC, you're such a dick. Did you get your wife anything? Of course I did, guys. Um, you know, she likes video games too. Not quite as much as I do, um, but she does like video games quite a bit. So I got her five video games uh, to go along with other stuff, and I'll show you what I got her. She's actually quite a big fan of Jeopardy, and we did not have this version yet, so I picked her up Jeopardy on the PS2. Um, Jeopardy is a game that we'll have to play together. Um, she likes to think she's pretty good at Jeopardy because she always beats her dad, apparently. Uh, but we'll see when we go head to head uh, who wins Jeopardy. She really likes the Harvest Moon series, and she did not have this version, which is Harvest Moon DS. So I snagged that for her. Uh, this one stood out to me a little bit because with the stylus, it looks like you can pet animals, you can clean them. Um, it's a little bit different. So I hope she has fun with this one. A game that I know she's had plenty of fun with because she already beat it and uh, I got this for her and I didn't really know too much about it. I know the, the type of games that she likes but this game just kind of stood out. I was like I think she's gonna like this game. Let's see and I was right. Um, it's opened obviously because she's been playing it nonstop. I got her Stranded Sales. This is um, it's about 15 to 20 hours long you crash on an island, and the goal is to repair your ship, um, explore the surrounding islands, keep your crew alive, and um, let's see, harvest crops. So she beat this already, and she said that she really enjoyed it, but she thinks that it was just a little bit too short for her taste. Uh, this is coming off playing Two Point Hospital for 180 hours. So this is about a 20 hour game, and she did say that it was a little bit on the easier side. So we'll see um, if they ever continue like a sequel or something. I'm shocked that she hasn't played this yet, and that's because she's so obsessed with the Harvest Moon, but she's never played this before, and I really wanted to get her a physical copy of it, so I got her Stardew Valley. Just like Harvest Moon, different graphics. It looks amazing. I've never played with it. Um, I think she's totally going to dig this and um, she's going to spend 100 and plus hours playing that game. The last game that I got her, it was only released physically in Japan, but it's got really, really good um, reviewer scores. And so I really wanted to get her the physical edition. Obviously, we're big into physical games. So I got her Atami Crops. And it's, uh, so this is cool because, you know, it, it's in Japanese, but there is a, um, an English subtitle option. So she can understand, she can play the entire game. And from what I have learned, I believe you farm crops, but I think you also fight off like monsters and beasts and that type of stuff with guns and stuff. So it, it's quite an interesting mix of farming and like a bullet shooter. So we'll see how that turns out. Um, okay, let's get to the games. Eh, I'll just, I'll just go. Okay, one of my all-time favorite series is Ape Escape, and Ape Escape on the PS1 is phenomenal. It's a masterpiece, and now I can play Ape Escape on the loose, which is essentially the PS1 version on the PSP, so I can take it on the go. 
Um, super stoked. I love that series. She uh, also got me Hot Shots Tennis Get a Grip. The Hot Shots series is really fun. I love the golf games. I've never played the tennis games, but if they're anything like the golf games, I'm sure they're going to be a blast. Another PSP game that she got for me, and this one is a very good one. Um, it got great reviews, and it's from uh, a series that I have beat the first three games in. Siphon Filter Dark Mirror. So, um, you know, I don't really know where this goes in the series. I'll have to check, but uh, if it's anything like the first three Siphon Filter games, I know I'm going to dig this. It's going to be really fun. And uh, man, I wish they would bring that series back. I think Days Gone was kind of a spiritual, well, it's not a spiritual successor, but it's set in the Siphon Filter universe. I think it is what happens when the Siphon Filter uh, gets loose. Um, so it's, it's kind of cool. I think there's like a lot of hidden uh, messages in Days Gone that reference Siphon Filter. So I think that's kind of cool that they, they paid homage to that. Let's keep going with the PSP. She got me a lot of PSP games. Um, so this, I have read the entire Harry Potter series, I think seven times. Uh, so when a Harry Potter book would come out, I'd read it, but I would reread the entire series. And my favorite book in the series is the sixth one. So that's The Half-Blood Prince. So she picked me up Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince on the PSP. I have not played any of the movie tie-ins for Harry Potter, but I'm sure it should be quite fun. Uh, Frogger is a fantastic arcade game. I have never heard of this, but she got this for me, and it's Frogger Helmet Chaos. So let me see kind of what's on the back. It says, Frogger is back to his classic beginnings. Frogger's home of Firefly Swamp is being overrun by Dr. Wani and his evil plans. Join Frogger in his latest adventure as he hops his way across 30 levels and restores order to his beloved swamp. This looks cool. This looks really fun. I think this could be a super underrated game that I end up having tons of fun with. I think this is the last game she got me on the PSP this Christmas. And uh, this is a game that I've never played, but I've heard a lot about it, and I've heard really good things about it. And that's Lemmings. Um, let's see what it says. Can you save the Lemmings? The Lemmings are on the loose, and that can only mean one thing, trouble. Raging rivers, steep cliffs, pits of lava, mechanical spikes, danger is at every step for the relentless marching hordes of cute, green-haired rodents. Oh, they're rodents. I thought they were little people. Interesting. So this is a puzzle game, and you have to, I believe, just guide lemmings to the exit part of the level without getting them all killed. Uh, let's see if that one's in here. <laughs> Okay, we'll do this one next. Uh, no, we'll, we'll, we'll do this one. Um, I have the first one on the PS2. Haven't played it. This is the sequel on the PS2, but it's Pirates Legend of the Black Buccaneer. This one is in really good shape. Um, I don't know too much about the sequel, and I'm curious. You know, I haven't played the first one yet, so I don't really have too much information on it. I assume it is about pirates. So, we shall see some point. Okay, as I mentioned, my finale gift from her was the N64, and I showed off all the games that came with it, or that she bought me, except one. I forgot about it, my bad. Um, it actually came in this case, and so she picked up Cruising USA for me on the N64. Um, this is one of my favorite arcade games. Whenever we go to an arcade, I seek it out because it's just so much fun. Um, I love Cruising USA. And so I'm curious as to how it performs on the N64. Okay. 
Yeah, we'll go with we'll go with these first. All right, so she gave me a couple PS One games. This one was more of a mm, I don't know what to say. She was out with her friend shopping, and uh, her friend convinced her to get this for me. And apparently, her friend has played this before, and she says it's quite fun. So we'll see. Uh, but they picked up the Land Before Time Great Valley Racing Adventure. So I'm trying to figure it out. It looks like you're the dinosaurs, but you're running. So you're not on a cart or anything like that. Um, you can play as Littlefoot, Ducky, Sarah, or Spike. And yeah, um, I'll tell you what. My wife is going to get her ass clapped in this game whenever we play it. No mercy. All right, let's get to some sweet PS1 games. Um, I have the first and the third one. I think this is the second one. I want to make sure it is, but uh, I didn't have this. I'm super stoked. She got me Spyro Ripto's Rage. And now I have all three of them on the PS1. That is such a fantastic series. Um, I haven't played the remastered versions yet. But uh, this, this is a lot of nostalgia for me. This is like my heyday as a child. Crash Bandicoot, Spyro, Ape Escape, all those games on the PS1 I put countless hours into. A game that my friend had when I was growing up and I would go to his place and we would play it every now and then. Um, I thought it was so cool. And it's, it's kind of expensive now. Uh, and so I haven't had much luck finding it in retro stores, but she did and it's very very nice for her for her to get this for me uh, But she got me Dino Crisis. I love The first two Dino Crisis so much um, I have I think I have the first two digitally But now I have this physically and now I'm gonna play this one because uh, I, I love Dino Crisis It's such a such a great series. Oh, the first two games are. Uh, I can't speak for the third one. I haven't played that one yet. But I love this stuff. This stuff, man, I miss video games like that. Um, all right, we're going to take a quick break from what my wife has got me. And we're going to move to what some family members got me. So my brother-in-law got me uh, Left Alive, brand new, super cool. I love the um, the artwork on this, it's phenomenal. It reminds me of um, Metal Gear Solid. I love that artwork. But I don't really know too much about this, so let's take a look. During a devastating surprise invasion, three survivors must find a way to endure and unravel the truth about the war Outnumbered, outgunned, and up against any monstrous mechs, every choice the survivors make could be their last. Ooh. Um, yeah, I mean, this looks awesome. I'm super stoked for that. The same brother-in-law also got me this one, and I am really stoked for it. Laura Croft and the Temple of Osiris. Um, so this is a top-down adventure you can do one to four players, which is really cool. I don't know, maybe I'll have some friends play it with me. Looking at you, Sega Blocks, Lame Dad, and GameCube Galaxy. We shall see. Uh, I don't really know too much about this other than it's a top-down adventure as Laura Croft. Uh, but my brother-in-law did play it, and he says that it is a really fun game, so I will trust his judgment. My, uh, what do you call them? Parent-in-law, in-laws, let's just call them in-laws. They got me Remnant from the Ashes. And let's take a look at what this is about. This is a third person survival action shooter set in a post-apocalyptic world overrun by monstrous creatures. As one of the last remnants of humanity, you'll set out alone or alongside up to two other players to face down deadly enemies and retake what was lost. 
With over 100 variants of enemies, 20 epic bosses, and endless possible combat scenarios, it's going to take everything you've got to make it out alive. Super stoked uh, to play this. That was super nice of my in-laws to pick that up for me. So, thank you. My sister-in-law picked up a really awesome game. Um, I'm really looking forward to this. So she got me brand new Drakengard 3. And I really like the cover. Uh, it looks really cool. And then the back looks silly. Um, I have a feeling I just released a series called Girls of Gaming. I have a feeling the females in this may be making a future appearance on one of those episodes. So now I have the first four games, I think. If there's if there's four of them, I have the fourth one. If there's just three, now I have all three. Uh, yeah, so this game looks super awesome. I say that about all the games, but I just get so excited. I don't know what else to say. I need, I need better descriptive words. Okay, heading down the final stretch to... Um, uh, let's... You know what? Let's show off what my dad got me. Uh, my dad picked up two PSP games for me. Awesome. He got me Star Ocean First Departure. And uh, so this is, I believe, chronologically in the storyline, the very first game in the series. And so I haven't played, excuse me, I haven't played any yet, but now I can start the adventure on the PSP. And, you know, bless my dad. Um, he doesn't always know, like, much about video games, but he always gets me the ones that I want. And I just, like, I, I really thank him for that. Um, I just, you know, he'll be like, hey, what do you want for Christmas? And I'll send him a couple ideas. And he, he always comes through and gets me the ones that I want. So, thanks, Dad. The other game that he got me is Fantasy Star Portable. Really stoked for this one. Um, I just beat Fantasy Star, the original one, on the Sega Master System um, four or five months ago. And so I will have to see where this one um, is in the series. But uh, just like the, the artwork is just so cool. I really dig this. So those are the games my dad got me. Thank you, Father. Let's go to the games my mom got me. My mom and stepdad. Uh, I told you that my mom got me that JRPG book, which is incredible. She also got me Grandia on the PS1. Thank you, Mom. Um, really excited. I have the Grandia HD collection on the Switch. And so what I'll probably do is I'll probably play this one on the PS1. And then I will play the second one on the Switch. Um, this is a series that I don't really know too much about. I don't think it's still going, but I think it's going to be a blast. Another game that my mom got me, and when I opened this, I was so stoked because of what came inside of it, and I'm going to show it off. My mom get, uh, got me Miracle Warriors on the Sega Master System. And so this is a JRPG. It says, Fate calls thee to bar evil's way. The Dark Lord Terran has removed the golden seal from the Pandora Passage to let monstrous creatures roam the five lands. An ancient prophecy foretells of four brave warriors destined to battle Terran and return the seal to its rightful place. Art thou the one fated to lead the Miracle Warriors? Dost noble blood flow in thy veins? I hope the whole game doesn't talk like that. <laughs> but let me show you what's really cool about this. Okay, so first off, CIB, awesome. But this is cool. Let me show you this. I don't know many Sega Master System games that have stuff like this, so this is really special. It comes with an incredible map. Check this out, guys. This is so cool. And I love, um, I love the top of it. Look at that. 
might be some nips. Yeah, there is. Ah, uh, all right. Really cool. Thank you, mom and stepdad. And let's put that back in here before going off on the finales. So, all right, got a couple games left. The rest of them are all from my wife. So, she picked up on the PS4 brand new, The Survivalists. And I don't know too much about this. A survival sandbox set in the, ex excuse me, in the escapist universe. Build, explore, survive, and train monkeys. Hmm. Oh, it's made by uh, Team 17. So Team 17, um, they did Moving Out, they did Overcooked. Oh, there's a couple other games I can't think of that they've done. But uh, yeah, this, this looks like a game that I can sink a lot of hours into, just surviving and having fun. Um, so yeah. All right, three games left, guys. Brand new. I have seen so much about this from some of my followers and the people that I follow on Twitter. Um, but she she got me 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. I hope I said that right. But a lot of people just completed their playthroughs of it um, not too long ago, and they're just like talking, oh, it's so good, I can't wait to play this. Or like, you know, it was a fantastic game. So it makes me really excited to play it. Um, oh, it's made by Sega, cool. Uh, yeah, so honestly, I don't know too much about this game. I don't, I wish I could read you guys the back, but it doesn't really say much about what it is. So if you guys have played it, maybe you guys can let me know um, some of the gameplay about it. Two games left. Uh, on the PS3, she picked up Trials of Cold Steel. And I'm really excited again to play this. Control the fate of an empire. Um, as their studies lead them deeper into the nation's woes, they'll face opposition from nobles, armies, insurgents, and even their own families. So this, this looks like a game that I'm going to fall in love with. It's so cool, so awesome that she picked this up for me. So, thanks again. The finale game that she got me, uh, that I just like so excited and i've already began playing this because i just couldn't wait i have to play all these games but when i saw this i was like no i'm gonna play this game right now uh, that's because i love the series so much i love the onimusha series so much and she finally got me the one game that was missing from my collection so she got me onimusha dawn of dreams i have been looking for this game forever super great condition complete in box and guys this is wild are you ready for this this is a two disc game on the ps2 uh there's a disc missing because it's in my ps2 right now but uh yeah that's how long this game is i was actually talking with um my guy gamecube galaxy and he's a big onimusha fan and he said that he thought dawn of dreams was longer than all three onimushas combined that's pretty wild. Uh, but the more I think about it, that's not that surprising. Onimusha 1, I beat within five hours. The second and third one are a little bit longer. So if this game is about 30 hours long, I can see that. Uh, so yeah, I began playing that. Um, really thankful for my family and my wife. Uh, they spoil me so much. Uh, I was just very pleased with everything that I got and it's just, it's really awesome. I really appreciate it all. And of course, the N64 that my wife got me, super nice of her. So this is my video game Christmas haul of 2021. What were some of the coolest things that I received this year? Let me know in the comments below. And let me know what you guys thought of the video game related items that I got. Uh, I'm really excited about reading some of those books, uh, so I think those were pretty cool, but I hope everyone had a great Christmas. We're now rounding in to 2022. We're about a weekend now. Um, so I hope everyone is just having a great start to their new year. Thank you so much for watching. 
I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and don't forget to play a video game, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and drop me a comment. Thanks for watching.